why induction motor is not self starting but the question is is it true that the induction motor is not self starting basically three phase induction motor is self starting we have seen this thing many places you just turn on the supply and instantly three phase induction motor starts rotating but is it true for the single phase induction motor is single phase induction motor is also self starting the answer is no single phase induction motor is not at all self starting motor maybe you have experienced this thing at your home that whenever you just turn on the switch of your fan many time it's possible that fan does not starts then what you will do with some stick you just pull that fan and then it will start rotating in one direction maybe you have experienced this thing because i have experienced this thing many times there are several reason for this incident and if you are interested in knowing that incident that why this happens with the fan then write that thing in comments below and we will discuss this thing in detail in some another video but right now our focus is why single phase induction motor is not self starting so now let's explore that thing when we talk about three phase induction motor we are giving three phase current and because of that three phase current a three phase magnetic field is produced into the three phase induction motor so because of this three phase magnetic field we will get one resultant magnetic field which is constant in magnitude but it is rotating in nature so constant in magnitude and rotating in nature and that is why the rotor tries to catch that rotating magnetic field and keeps on rotating in that same direction but in case of single phase induction motor we do not get rotating magnetic field here we will get alternating magnetic field which keeps on altering its direction every half cycle so what happens when we just turn on the supply so first current starts flowing through the stator and because of that current alternating magnetic field is produced into the stator so because of this magnetic field emf induces into the rotor this emf starts flowing current into the rotor and because of this current another magnetic field produced into the rotor now what will happen this another magnetic field and the stator magnetic field there are two magnetic field so what will happen attraction repulsion right so the rotor tries to catch the alternating magnetic field so when rotor tries to catch the alternating magnetic field at that moment torque produces into the rotor so now torque is produced in one direction rotor is just about to move but on very next instant what will happen the alternating magnetic field just alter its direction when the direction of magnetic field is altered the direction of induced emf is also altered hence the current flowing because of that induced emf also reverses and because of this the torque produced into the motor also reverses so few moment ago the torque is in one direction but after few moments the torque is in exact opposite direction so after some time magnetic field again changes the direction after half cycle again changes the direction and this will keeps on happening the same thing will be reflected on to the torque so for positive half the torque is in this direction for negative half it will be in opposite direction and that will be keep on repeating so for entire cycle if you observe the resultant torque on to the rotor the resultant torque will be zero so because of this resultant torque is zero it cannot move in any of the direction just imagine that someone is pulling me from this side and someone else is pulling me from this side they both are applying the same force and they both are pulling me 100 times a second what will happen as a result i will be stand still right i will not move in any of the direction so the same thing happens with the rotor it will not move in any of the direction and this is the reason why single phase induction motor is not self starting now if you want to refer varieties of electrical interview question then you can refer this playlist or if you want to learn more interesting and fun facts about electrical engineering then also you can refer this playlist so until you meet again in our next video till the time bye bye